The first paragraph on page two of your lease states which, if any, utilities are provided as part of your rent. If none are provided, it also states the date that all utilities will be disconnected from the owner or agent for owner's name. You will need to get them switched into your name or you may find yourself without utility service. This paragraph states that neither Fletcher Property Management nor the owner have responsibility for you or your possessions. If a tornado takes the roof off the property and sucks all your stuff along with it, the owner will get a new roof, however you will not get new stuff unless you have renter's insurance to cover it. Included in your packet is a brochure from the American Red Cross that explains this recommended coverage. This paragraph lists your vehicles and their tag numbers. If your new home has assigned parking, then please honor that and park only in your assigned spots. Do not allow your family or guests to jump the curb or park in the yard. After all, God made grass to mow and pavement to park on. This paragraph states the number of keys and garage door openers that you are being given along with the codes to any property. We will be glad to provide you with an additional key for $2 a piece. Garage door openers are valued at $40 each. We recommend you have an extra key made and give it to someone you trust since we are not responsible if you lock yourself out of your house. You are responsible for all activities on this property and so are in violation of this lease even if your family or guests are the ones committing the actual violation. Normally we will give possession at lease signing. If we are unable to give you possession today or on the date specified, you may terminate this lease without penalty. We are not subject to any liability for failure to give possession. This lease will continue in effect and we agree to abide by its terms until the property is vacated. Once 30 day written notice is given, we have the right to place the sign and show the property at all reasonable times. Also, if you choose to remain in the property on a month to month lease after the initial term ends, the monthly rent rate will increase by a minimum of $25 per month. This paragraph simply means that if we allow you to do something that is in violation of the lease one time, it doesn't mean that we won't call you on it the next time. If we have reason to believe that you may have abandoned the property, we will post a 72-hour notice of abandonment. After that time, we will dispose of all remaining items left in the property. Some of the things that might lead us to believe you have abandoned the property could include, but are not limited to, your failure to pay rent or to respond to the 10-day notice to vacate or to maintain utility services. Pause the presentation and review before each adult initials at the bottom of the page. Press play when you are ready to continue. At any time, you can press menu to restart any particular section.